Let's get to work guys. Now basically, first and foremost, um, how do we go ahead and get traffic to click bank offers? Now the first thing guys, um, if you haven't already, click the first link in the description and get access to the copy page profit funnel. So that way you can actually attach one of these offers on the back end of the sales funnel because the point of the sales funnel is to increase your over top, overall return on your investment. I don't send uh, traffic directly to links. You want to go ahead and send it to a funnel, capture those leads, follow up with email marketing, and once you guys follow up with the email marketing, you're just going to go ahead and increase your ROI. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, this method for a couple of niches because a lot of people say I'm always doing health and wellness when I really don't even promote health and fitness uh, products. So I'll show this for a couple. Um, well, I really don't need to actually get the offers, but I'll just show you just in case. So that's health and fitness, and then we'll find one of wealth. Let's just say e-business marketing, and then we'll do one more. Um, another niche we can do. We can do self-help. Right. So, all right. So these are three different niches, right? Self, one self-help. One is um, basically make money online, and then one is uh, weight loss, right? Now, guys, we're gonna go to press. Uh, if we wanted to go ahead and actually find an offer, the first step, right, is uh, searching through these offers. And guys, one thing that I want you guys to realize is that there's 1,300 offers on this page. There's 490 offers on this page, and there's 869 offers on this page. Now, how do you find out if it's a good offer or not? Guys, you simply go ahead and look at the sales page, right? So if you look at the sales page, you want to go ahead and look at the copy, and what's most important is the actual video sales letter to see if it's a good, compelling, non-scammy, um, something that actually looks like it's going to help people um, video. And then once I figure out if the video converts or not, then what you can do is actually do research on the product. And once you do research on the product, if it's actually um, providing value to the marketplace, then I'm going to promote it, right? So once we got that out of the, the bag, right, how do we actually go ahead and promote these? Self-explanatory, press the promote button, right? Once you press the promote button, we're going to go ahead and press create link. As said before, you attach it to a funnel, and then what you want to do is you want to put a lead magnet, which is a free thing, and uh, to capture leads, and then have the, just to give you guys a visual representation, um, A and B whiteboard, actually, on online whiteboard, online whiteboard, right, A-W-W. So what we're going to be doing is capturing leads up front and then redirecting them to our, our uh, quick link sales page, right? So here's going to be our free thing that we're giving away, copypasteprofitfunnel.com, grab your free funnel. And what's going to happen is, right, once they grab access to their free thing, whether it's a free report, free video, whatever, then we're going to redirect them to this page and then we're going to do email marketing on the back end, sending these emails right following up with them right but the first thing is once we redirect them to the page how do we get traffic that's what we're asking right what is the, the free and fast uh traffic method i'm going to go ahead and give you guys two now the first thing i want to ask you guys is as far as traffic what are the two biggest search engines in the world right the two biggest search engines in the world are actually owned by the same company google and youtube right now google basically if you have a problem what are you going to do Right? If you have a problem, you're essentially going to go ahead and search for the solution to that problem online. Right? So an example is for this specific offer for self-help, if I'm feeling down, I might ask myself how to overcome fear or something like that. Right? How to overcome fear. And what's going to happen is the top, the cool thing that I want to show you guys is that on um, YouTube, right? So YouTube.com, um, how to overcome fear. The top results are actually on YouTube, right? How to overcome fear, Brendan.com. And then basically what's gonna happen is, is your, this is traffic, this is free traffic. They're ranking for these specific keywords, right? So what you wanna do, if you're starting, you wanna go ahead and collect the low hanging fruit, right? 
What I mean by that is you want to go ahead and for these specific type of offers within these niches, you want to go ahead and first and foremost, by the way, what I'm talking about for Google is a WordPress blog. And what I would do is an example of a keyword is how to, if I was trying to solve a problem, right, how to start a WordPress blog. And what is it going to send me to? It's going to send me to a freaking blog, right? So WPBeginner.com, they rank for that keyword. And then it's basically going to go ahead and show you exactly how to start a WordPress uh, blog. Very cheap. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a blog around this specific niche, right? Whether it's weight loss, whether it's um, self-help, or whether it's make money online, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and follow these directions, start a blog, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and start writing articles around, you're going to start writing articles around specific keywords, right? So a long-tailed keyword is basically a keyword that has way less competition, right? So which, let me ask you guys, um, which one is going to be more competitive? How to, or excuse me, make money online. Right, you get you're about 2.6 billion results. Right, make money online. Now, if I say how to make money online from home, right? So what we do is we type it in like this with the quotation marks. So it's 568,000. Um, under this keyword and then here's the keyword and then you can even do even longer keywords like right? ranking for these for these uh, These um, articles I want to show you guys the best way to actually um, get good articles, right? So 568 and then just make money online Has 27 million right so the difference guys between long tail keywords and high tail keywords is you're competing with more articles, right? So there's 27 million with this keyword. And then how to make money on, look, how to make money online without paying anything. So that's a keyword that people are obviously searching for because Google already populates it, right? Now, basically there's 30,000 um, views. Now guys, the best way, right, to create these articles to actually rank, right, is right here, influencerentrepreneur.com. So whichever one is ranked number one, Right, you're simply going to go ahead and look at the article and then what I'm going to do to actually rank this article is I'm going to go ahead and literally look at the article. I'm going to go ahead and copy the article, right? Get this article right here. And then I'm going to go to fiverr.com and article writing or SEO article writing. SEO article writing. What I'm gonna do, once I have my WordPress blog up, right, this person does articles for 18 euros, this person does articles for 22 euros. So you shop around for different prices, right? But guys, you're probably thinking, oh, why would I pay $50 for an article? Why would I pay $20 for an article, guys? Because if you have somebody rewrite this article that's already ranking, rewrite it much better with the same keywords then what you're gonna do is, you're, over time, you're gonna start ranking these articles, and it's gonna be free organic traffic, right? Now, if you look here, basically, they have different links that they're promoting, right? They have different links that they're promoting, and these are affiliate links, right? Now, that's number one, right? It's basically, it's the same thing with weight loss. If I was to go to um, weight loss, how to lose weight, Without, um, without changing perfect here's a really long keyword so what I would do instead of competing with weight loss right let me show you guys something so we have wow that's a lot of so that shows how competitive weight loss is but 260 million oh there's no there's actually no results for this one Right, so that there's not too much. Um, there's not. That means there's low, low search for that, right? But what you want to do, right, is you simply go ahead and see which one is at the top, right? How to lose weight without changing what you eat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to press this article. I'm going to go ahead and look at this article. If I like the article, 
I'm simply going to go ahead and copy the article, go to Fiverr, tell them that I want them to rewrite this article better. Once they rewrite the article, I'm just going to go ahead and put it to my Word, WordPress. They give them access to your WordPress account. They re rewrite the article. You have a virtual assistant. Upload it to Word, uh, WordPress. And then slowly but surely, you're going to start generating traffic to your website, to your WordPress blog. Now, guys, how are you going to go ahead and monetize your blog, right? First and foremost, these, depending on your, your niche, right, you're going to have these links, or your funnel, rather. You're going to have them on your blog, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Uh... Now, I guarantee you, if I go ahead and do how to make money online, so how to make money online, seven realistic ways to make money online. Um, so, look, earn money online now. So, I'm going to press this link right here. Okay, that link isn't working, and that sucks. That's entrepreneur.com. I want, I want actually like an affiliate website. So, not these big websites. So, lifehack.org. So I'm assuming they're probably gonna have swag bucks. So these are all affiliate links, guys. This article is all affiliate links. Fiverr, Isaiah, they're literally just dropping affiliate links. And every time somebody actually starts a Fiverr account, like if they go to Project Payday, if they go to user testing through this person's link, they're gonna go to get paid a commission. Another way that they're monetizing their blog is as stated before, how I'm telling you guys to do the copy paste profit funnel, right? They're actually um, leveraging a capture page at the bottom right and there here's the lead magnet so what a lead magnet guys that's what I was telling you guys before giving something away for free in exchange for the email to do email marketing is basically a free test to help you find out the thing you secure secretly want right so here's the lead magnet it's a free test I type in my email I press yes send me the free test they're gonna send it to my email then they're gonna start doing email marketing so that's an example of how you can monetize your blog another way is um basically and all you're gonna do is you're gonna send them affiliate links through the email marketing and then just having affiliate links throughout right that's the first method um and a pop-ups so what's gonna happen is i'll put in my email f u at gmail.com send it to me then they're gonna go ahead and send me um okay free download it'll send it to your uh your email inbox, right? And it looks like based off this logo, they use the pages. That's number one. Number two is, as I said before, YouTube. Guys, YouTube is so powerful, guys. It's way easier to create a YouTube video. Look, 11 minutes, this guy, this took this guy 11 minutes, this took this guy 11 minutes, this took this person 15 minutes, Dan Lock, this took Dan Lock um, 10 minutes, right? This took this person three minutes. So what happens is, you can rank in Google just like you rank with blogs, but it's much quicker, right? And this is what I would recommend, right? So what's gonna happen is how to overcome fear and anxiety in 30 seconds. 11 minutes, right? What you can do is if he was promoting an affiliate product, he simply go ahead and has the video, and then you put, you literally go ahead and um, rank on these specific keywords. So the keyword is how to overcome fear and anxiety. So there's two keywords in this one. The first keyword is how to overcome fear. The second one is how to overcome fear and anxiety. That's that's a long tail keyword. And basically, if you look on the tags here, he's ranking for these videos as well, right? So how to overcome fear and anxiety, how to overcome fear and worry, how to overcome fear. So these are the keywords that he's ranked for for this video. And then what happens is he has his link right here, right? That's his promotion. So at the end of his video, he has a call to action. So if you want more information or if you want uh, more stuff on how to overcome fear and anxiety, go ahead and check out the link in my description. Now guys, the power of YouTube is that it's evergreen content. It's September 2018, September 17, 2018 as I record this video. And this video was recorded in September 13, 2015. So guys, 900,000 views, it's still ranked number one. So it's still getting the most traffic for that specific keyword, how to overcome fear. And this video was recorded three years ago. Guys, what would you do if you literally recorded a 10 minute video, um, if you recorded a 10 minute video uh, three years ago that was still making you hundreds of dollars per day today. And the cool thing about YouTube is that it's duplicatable, right? So just to show you guys, I practice what I preach. Um, I do, I do videos around make money online and affiliate marketing, right? So here's my videos, but if you guys look at my top videos, where are we? If we go to sort by most popular, 
right? My most popular stuff is um, uh, make money online, a Facebook ads video, Facebook ads, Instagram, uh, stuff about apps, ClickBank, uh, Legendary Market was a, a thing that I uh, was promoting, Click Funnels, uh, Click Funnels, how to create Facebook ads, right? I'm ranking for these around my specific niche, and then what happens is in all of my videos, I have a call to action, right? So two months ago, 10,000 views. If you look here, my number one recommendation to make money online, and what did I rank for, right? How to promote ClickBank products without a website. I'm ranked number one. How to promote ClickBank products without a So instead of just ranking for ClickBank, which is a short tail keyword, I rank for how to promote ClickBank products without a website. That's a long tail keyword. That's a really long tail keyword, right? So if somebody types in ClickBank, I'm not gonna go to rank for ClickBank. I'm not even ranked, right? So as I stated before, guys, yeah, I don't have 100,000 views, but I'm taking the low hanging fruit, right? I'm ranking a long tail keyword, right? In this specific video that um, I'm doing right now, I'm trying to rank for the keyword. I'll show you guys. Um, how to promote ClickBank products without a website free and fast traffic. That's a long tail keyword that I'm ranking this exact video for, right? I guarantee you, it might not be ranked number one, but it's gonna rank. So with that being said, when people search that long tail keyword, I'm picking up the low hanging fruit on my YouTube channel. Now you're probably asking, there's two ways you can go about doing this, right? You can either go ahead and if you know information about the content, you can create the content yourself, right? I wouldn't say that I'm winging this, but I, I know what I wanted to talk about already. So I'm literally just talking about this content and, sh and showing you guys as I browse through my um, YouTube channel. Or number two is, let's just say I wanted to rank for how to earn passive income from home, right? So that's a long tail keyword, how to earn passive income from home. And the number one ranked video is top five passive income ideas. So what I would do is I'll simply go ahead and watch this video. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna watch it. Just like I told you guys to swipe these blog posts, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first and foremost, these are the tags that he's trying to rank for. Then he has this keyword. Then he has this text, right? Which is not a lot, really. And then the content, right? So the most important one, and this, what it seems to me is there must be really good content because he doesn't have too much SEO stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the actual content. Once I watch the content, I'm simply gonna go ahead and literally copy it. Now people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's not original. Fuck you, you're broke. I don't care, right? The objective, guys, is to help people with content. Number two is to go ahead and leverage that traffic to drive traffic to your affiliate office so you can earn an income. Those people who complain about all your copycatting people and all that extra shit, those are the fucking broke people who find anything to complain about. Fuck them, they're gonna stay broke. You be the person who actually buys my, my uh, what I'm recommending, which is swiping fucking blogs and swiping um YouTube videos. But I've seen people swipe mine. I don't hate because I do it, right? Literally all the up and coming content that I'm doing is I swipe the keywords and the titles from other people and I'm creating content around it to help people, right? I'm not creating, re recreating the content, but I'm literally um, just swiping the freaking, uh, the titles. And I'm just recreating the content to help my audience, right? And to help the people who stumble across my videos. And if it's better content, this actual title that you're watching right now, swipe it from somebody else. I guarantee you, if you type in this keyword that you see in my video, you're literally gonna see somebody actually created this video. Now, if I have better content, then my video is going to rank above this, right? That's just how this works. So, it is what it is, right? So, what I recommend is literally just recreating the content if you don't know about the subject and do it to the best of your ability. Now, don't just do, do your due diligence and make sure you provide really good content. Don't just promote trash because number one, it's gonna be a reflection of your brand, and number two, um, you're not gonna rank, right? So with that being said, to get the low hanging fruit um, and free and fast traffic, now what I mean by fast is guys, over time, you're gonna get a ridiculous amount of traffic for fast, for free, consistently passive, evergreen traffic to your affiliate offers because it takes time, but once you rank one of these freaking videos, once you rank one of these blog posts, you're gonna get so much traffic, it's gonna be high quality targeted traffic, right? And you're literally just gonna redirect them to your offers. Now I would recommend YouTube, but to each his own, if you don't like YouTube, go ahead and create a WordPress blog and literally just type in how to create a WordPress blog on Google. Um, and then you're simply just gonna go ahead and create content around these long tailed keywords. And then what's gonna happen is in this long tailed keyword, right? If you notice there's smaller keywords, right? So you might 
because you're doing a long tail keyword, you still might rank for these smaller keywords, right? Passive income. So if I was to type, here's the long tail keyword, they're ranked for that too. But if I was to do passive income ideas, I guarantee this person's ranked. Look, he's ranked number one, right? So with that being said, um, yeah, that's basically what you guys want to do there. Um, go ahead and rank these videos and go ahead and rank these blog posts. Redirect that traffic to a sales funnel. Shameless plug, copy, paste, profit, or click the first link in the description. And then 